So let's see what's happening in a service center. This is the day-to-day -day business we are doing. By the way, this is uh, Michelle Fogelman. He's also been to Charanka in Indian and has also done the commissioning and installation of a 20 megawatts plant. And this Jochen Vike, he's a specialist who has also designed the internet portal-based uh, system. So let's look at a practical application, what happens daily. These four screens basically show you that you have to look at the plant in a parallel form from the four different perspectives. Because only understanding this gives you a very clear idea of the energy uh, <coughs> flow that's happening in a solar park so that we can diagnostic the problems in a very clear way. The simplest way with little bit of low skill set, this is the our portal, our cloud-based systems, which even the EPC or the project developers can have a look. This cloud-based portal has the name of Chennai. And this Chennai portal allows you to look at all the power plants that are available in India, what IPNL has done till now. These are projects in Anjar, in Charanka, in Rajasthan, and in uh, Shivaganga in Madurai. So this helps you to look at many plants at the same time. This is a graph which shows data coming from the power plants from different perspectives. This shows the different days and this is the AC energy which the inverters are feeding in to the transformers. You can also zoom in and look at the, all the values in a clear form. In this screen, you have the possibility to build the difference of energy among the different inverters. And if there is a big difference, then you see a big uh, um, uh, balkan. Yeah. In this form, you see th the different irradiation sensors that are available in a solar plant from the spirometer and then also the different uh, irradiation sensors. So these shows all this information. So basically you can look at the plant through different parts of the eye and have a look what's happening. The next level is the so-called remote SCADA. That means it shows how much of energy is being produced, how much of CO2 has been saved, the most important values like the irradiation sensor. And these values are also shown in a graphical form and this also shows how the structure of the whole plant is there. That means this A1, A2, these are inverter stations with two megawatts. If there is any alarm in one of these areas, this also changes to red so that the person <coughs> at the uh, local SCADA gets this information. This also has a very important information exchange between the specialists uh, in Germany and the local operator on the field. So this is a common communication method between the people on site and the specialists who are uh, off site. And then we have the next possibility, we can download applications at the data uh, logger level, at the inverter level, at the control room level. So we can completely remotely manage your system. That means even after a couple of years, you need extensions or the new regulations so that like uh, power reduction, we are able to do all the application changes remotely from Germany. What's very important in such a data center is the security of your data. This is the plant you see your, your uh, asset. We make sure that no one uh, tinkers with your system, that only people who have the skill set and have a certificate, they are allowed to do the changes in the system. If we now go over to what Jochen is doing, <clears throat> what we can see here is um, what happens very often is there's always some data sometimes missing from the system. That means if an uh, inverter is switched off, it does not send any data. If there are energy meters not working correctly, then the data doesn't come. So we have a system called curve fitting and data correction. 
So we look at the data from the past, basically um, data mining, and correct the data and also show it to that customer so that when he finally looks at the complete data for the month, there is no missing data. Yeah. So what we are doing here is not only just monitoring the systems, but also analyzing the data, doing data correction, data analysis, and also giving that data back to the system which a customer wants to see.